Well, you know, it can take years to build a successful pollinator garden, or you can buy one in a box. In this week's Gardening 101, Jeff Ray explains it all. The right plants in the right places, the recipe for garden success. So we've worked with our local water providers to put everything you need to be successful gardening in one kit. The Go and Grow Boxed Pollinator Garden is a partnership between local water utilities and the company Rooted In. It is a planning lesson in sustainable gardening. So this one will attract butterflies and hummingbirds and native bees, um, in addition to blooming most of the year. By selling native and adapted pollinator plants, the idea is to have area gardeners using less water while supporting local bird and insect populations. There is a shade box version as well. And each one of them is going to come with three design options that cover about a 125 square foot area. Each plant is numbered. The box includes instructions how to place them in your garden. Some attention, good dirt, water, and sun will do the rest. They also come with a planning and maintenance guide that's going to teach folks how to plant them properly, how to water them, how to mulch them, and then how to take care of them for seasons to come. These are all perennial plants, some very well known. Now, Turk's cap is one of our native hibiscus. So uh, in the shade garden, we've selected the pink one, which is a little bit different. In the sun box, we have the red one. Greg's mist flower is one of the best plants for attracting butterflies in our area. We also have some rudbeckias, like the black-eyed Susan, which are great for many of our native bees. Thinking inside the box, sometimes to quickly get a new garden to grow. Jeff Ray, Gardening 101. Well, the deadline to order your garden in a box is this coming Monday. Go to our website, cbsdfw.com, and click on links and numbers. And, folks, if you have a question about your garden, all you got to do is ask Jeff about it. Go to our website, cbsdfw.com, click on the weather page, and there you will find the Gardening 101 link where you can get your question in.